اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In the last session we talked about discriminant validity and how to assess discriminant validity using Fornell and Locker criterion heterotrait monotrait ratio and cross loadings In this session I'm going to talk about what happens or what shall be done if there are issues in discriminant validity So here are a few steps that one might take if you are facing issues in discriminant validity Now what should you do before collecting the data now there are always precautions that must be taken before the data is actually collected the first one is make sure you have adequate number of items in each scale or construct there should be at least 4 to 6 items since in scm items are deleted if they fail to load or due to cross loadings now you should have adequate space for yourself if you've got low loadings or if items are cross loading normally it is preferred to have at least 4 to 6 items make sure item statements are easy to understand so the respondents can fill them adequately and appropriately make sure there is no overlap in the statements of different constructs now if the statements from different constructs overlap the responses are going to be similar if the responses are going to be similar there is going to be high correlation that means cross loading that means violation of discriminant validity now how do you solve discriminant validity issues once you have collected the data the first thing make sure to clean the data now once you clean the data then you know that whether there have been a respondents misconduct now what if you are cleaning the data and as identified earlier in the videos on cleaning the data the link will be shared in the description what if there is no standard deviation in the responses then your discriminant validity will be high check the standard deviation in responses standard deviation value less than 0.25 mean that the probability of respondents misconduct and the responses for the questions are almost similar how to do this a video will be shared in the description you can do it in microsoft excel assess cross loading if an item is loading well on to another construct instead of its own construct that particular item shall be removed for example an item has loading over 0.70 on two constructs now for example let's say now let's assume this example that we have already done let's go to the graphical output again let's assume we have discriminant validity issues for now this is an assumption and we've got these cross loadings pasted in excel how to do this simply again you go to your report you go to your cross loadings here in the output you select these values right click copy and then you paste on to excel let's say i've done this now once i've done this let's assume i've got this variable here these items belonging to ol so the loadings must be high in here in comparison to these here so ol2 here must load well on to its own factor here instead of here with cc or here with op now let's assume there is an issue of discriminant validity between cc and ol how would i know that if there is an issue of discriminant validity between cc and ol if you go back and let's see for an unlocker criterion now cc and ol this value here will be low and this value here will be higher otherwise this value here between cc and ol it will be over 0.85 or 0.90 Now you should be cautious if it's over 0.90 then there are discriminant validity issues if it's between 0.85 0.90 then to a certain extent you are fine you are good to go but still check for cross loadings in this case let's assume this is greater than 0.90 just an assumption so what will i do i will come to cross loadings and when checking the cross loadings let's assume this is 0.720 Now look at this. This value here and this value here. CC one is also loading strongly onto OL. Now the difference is is equal to this value here minus this value here is less than zero point one zero. 
this difference should have been this difference here should have been over 0 0.10 and this loading here is substantial onto the other factor now this item must be removed similarly you can check for all the items if you think that there is an issue of discriminant validity between any of the constructs look for their cross loadings look for the item that is loading well onto other constructs instead of its own construct this is how you can solve the discriminant validity issue moving on check for cross loading if an item cross loading and the difference is less than 0 0.10 remove the item or items now check for low loadings if the loadings are less than 0 0.540 then obviously there could be issues now if the problem persists try collecting more data or if there is very high correlation that is there is the HTMT ratio is very high or the shared variance is very high we do not have any other option but to combine those two construct now this is primarily very appropriate for the constructs that have multiple dimensions and those dimensions are for the same construct now if the problem still persists dropping one or more independent variable that is collinear variables that demonstrate insufficient discriminant validity from the model may help now this is the reference and that can be referred to you know in order to know more about discriminant validity the link will be shared in the description as well in the next session what i'm going to do is i'm going to use all the locs what do we mean by all the locs this series is focused on assessing this complex model so all the lower order constructs will be put in the model and assessed all together for now we've been doing the conceptualization and trying to study these things in a simple manner stay tuned thank you very much